We're at uh, Northwest Community College in, in wonderful Terrace, BC, that is going to be at the front line of an incredible economic opportunities for British Columbia. We announced uh, $1.8 million in, uh, in additional funding uh, on top of ITA funding for trades in British Columbia. There's 10 post-secondary institutions that benefit by this. And out of that, Northwest Community College is able to create 26 additional positions for electricians and millwrights that's going to be, are going to be trained in Prince Rupert. That's, uh, and they're responding to industry's need for those specific trades. Oh, it's going to be great. There's a lot of career opportunities that are going to be coming up in the Northwest, and I don't think there's a better place that the money could go to. Kids that are going to school, they can stay close to home and get a good education with a well-funded college like NWCC here in Terrace and even the um, programs that are going to be going into Prince Rupert. Um, that's going to be great for the people in Prince Rupert that don't want to move away from home or might not be able to afford moving out of their place and renting a place while going to school. This is great news that government has coming in with a, an announcement of further funding uh, with, with industry and education already partnering to bring local trades training into smaller communities. Government funding is always needed. Industry, in our case with the Coastal Pathways Project, stepped up and provided capital to outfit shops uh, to bring these programs into the community. It's nice to see that there's a commitment from government to, to provide that funding because it's very necessary, especially in the north where the, the economy is starting to boom again after being low for such a long time.